What's up everybody, my name's Kirk and I am super excited that you have joined me for Connect today. Why am I so excited? Why are you so much more excited than you usually are? Because it is Easter, Jesus is alive, woo 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 woo! And as always, part of what we're going to do today is go into worship, one of my favorite things that we get to do in Connect, so let's go to Connect HQ right now. You know what? You may not be the best singer, but you can still honor God with songs. And you may not be the best dancer, but you can still give it all you've got. You wanna know why? It's because worship isn't about how good you are. It's about how good God is. I know that God loves it whenever we connect with Him together at church. So, sing aloud and dance for Him with all you've got. Get up on your feet and let's connect with God together.
yourself So get everybody talking Yeah Couldn't beat him, nothing could hold him down. Our God conquered the grave, so come on now, make it loud. Everybody shout it out, Jesus is alive right now. Sing it out, sing it out, sing it out. Jesus is alive right now. Whoa, sing it out, sing it out, sing it out. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive right now. Jesus is alive right now. Say, Jesus is alive right now. Jesus is alive right now. Shout it out. Jesus is alive right now. 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 Whoa! Sing it out, sing it out. Is alive.
I love worship. We have a point that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it, I need you to repeat it after me. Here we go. Jesus makes me God's friend when I choose to follow him. Fantastic job. If you love celebrating Easter, raise your hand. I'm imagining everyone's hands are raised right now. I love celebrating Easter. You know what? There's someone on Connect HQ that loves celebrating Easter too. Let's go there right now. Hey Mike, are you getting ready to set up for the Easter party? You bet. I look forward to this party every year. It's my favorite. You always know how to make Easter parties so fun. I hope this year's is even bigger than last year's. Well, Captain Melissa said to not go overboard with the decorations, so I'm gonna try to exercise some self-control. That sounds good. She knows best. I have to take this downstairs, but when I'm done, I'll come back up and help you set up. That'd be great. I hate it when I forget my pen. Too much? It's too much. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. I'm Harper. And this is the time I learned just how wonderful God's grace is. Hey, Harper. Hey, Captain Alyssa. Well, you don't seem like you're in the Easter spirit. Is everything okay? Well, it's just... All right, who's ready for the first Easter game I have planned? I'm ready. This sounds like so much fun. I am so excited for my first Easter with Connect HQ. I'll be there in just a second. I'm fine, really. Great. Because when I think about the fact that God raised Jesus from the dead and we get to be God's friends, I just get so excited. I'm so happy we all get to celebrate together. Professor Malcolm, why aren't you upstairs at the party? I'm just finishing up a few last minute tweaks of my new prototype. <laughs> why aren't you at the party? I don't know. I know how important Easter is. Mm -hmm. I know how much we need God's grace, His forgiveness for the wrong things we've done. But I'm just having a hard time feeling it this year. Well, in that case, I have an idea. Maybe seeing the difference God's grace makes in people's lives will help get you into the spirit of Easter. How would I do that? My new prototype is called the What If Simulator. It can show us what everyone here at Connect HQ would be like if they didn't know God's grace. Do you want to take a look? Sure. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this goes. Hello, this is Connect Mobile. How can I help you? Whoa, wait, pause. Connect Mobile? It looks like without God's grace, Connect HQ would be a cell phone company instead. You're kidding. Let's keep watching and see what happens. And uh, this is the Connect Mobile Hub. Sure. One of our highly qualified team members will be able to help you with your problem. All right. Hello? Oh, hello! Well, aren't you just adorable? How can I help you? Well, my phone stopped working and I was hoping someone- oh, Look at that, I just got 10 more likes. I should probably post another selfie. I don't want to let my followers down. Uh, could you please? Oh, um, you can go ask Tony for help. I'm sure he can sort something out for you. Okay. Tony? Oh, 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 hi, hi, um, how can I help you? My phone stopped working. Oh, well, uh, it could be uh, a lot of different things. It could be maybe the charging system, or it could be the battery, or it could maybe be the screen, uh, or, or the motherboard maybe crashed. It could be a lot of different Tony, things. Tony! Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Can you fix it? Oh, uh, I, I, I don't think that'd be a good idea, um, because there's so many different, um, there's so many different ways, there's so many different possibilities that I could make it worse than it is right now, and I would feel even more miserable than how I do right now, and so I really just think it'd be, uh, I think it'd be better if you just maybe talk to someone else. Uh, hey, Jake! Hey, hey, can you take, um... Harper. Can you take Harper down to seek Cat? Of course. Follow me, Harper. 
Are you sure you couldn't take a look at my phone? Oh, no. I'm just a kid. I wouldn't be able to help you. Try talking to Kat. She's really good at fixing things. Kat? How can I help you? My phone stopped working, and I was hoping someone here would be able to fix it. Oh, I'd be happy to help you in four and a half hours. Four and a half hours? I have other people I need to help before I can help you, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, do you need to fix the phone? Just a second. Why? I'm waiting for her to notice. No, no, they'll change right now. I don't know what you're talking about. What's the matter, Dot? You know how scared I am of Hawaiian shirts. Get out of here. Oh, I'm just helping you face your fear. No reason to flip out. Flip out? I'm not flipping out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mike, stop. Not again. I can't believe how different everyone was. I've never seen Alyssa and Tony so anxious, and Mike and Dot fight so much. That's because our lives hadn't been changed by God's grace. When we choose to follow Jesus, God forgives the bad things we've done, and we become friends with him. And because of that friendship, when we die, we get to be with him forever in heaven. Everyone's life can be changed by that good news. Jesus makes me God's friend when I choose to follow him. I wish I could tell everyone at Connect Mobile that. Actually. What? What if we have the what if simulator show us what would happen if you, the Harper who knows God's grace, visited Connect Mobile? I think I'd like to see that. All right, let's see what happens this time. Alyssa, Tony, could I talk with you guys for a minute? About what? I've already told you I'm too busy to help with your cell phone. Actually, I'd like to help you. We don't need any help. <laughs> ah, my followers! Just a second. Alyssa, doesn't it ever get tiring trying to impress people all the time? And Tony, doesn't it get tiring worrying about, well, everything? It isn't pleasant. When we're friends with God, we don't have to worry about those things. God will always be by your side, and he'll always protect you. Well, how do we get to be friends with God? It's simple. Do you want to say a verse with me? Sure. It's from the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9. Romans 10, 9. Romans, Romans 10, 10 9. 9. Say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Say with, with your, your mouth, mouth Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Then you will be saved. Then you will be saved. Because Jesus took the punishment for our sins, all we have to do is believe that God raised him from the dead and choose to follow him as our Lord. When we do that, we become friends with him forever. That's it? You mean I don't have to constantly put pictures on my Instagram? Or worry that I'm gonna make everything worse? Or clean up my whole life before I become friends with God? That's it, that's all you have to do. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, you've given us a lot to think about. Sure thing. Now if you'd excuse me, I have a few other people I'd like to talk to. So you're saying even though I'm a kid, God can still use me to help people? That's right, it doesn't matter how young you are. Thanks, Harper. I never knew that. Sure thing. Hey, Kat. Sorry, I'm too busy to talk right now. What other things do you like to do besides work, Kat? Hanging out with friends? Playing softball? Mmm, I don't have many friends. I'm not the type of person people like to be friends with. That's not true. Can I show you a video on your tablet? It'll only take a second. Why do you have to be so out of control and emotional? Why do you have to be so disrespectful? It's not nice to pull pranks. Mike, Dot, come here so I can show you this video. I think it'll be good for you guys, too. Ladies first. Psych! This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. See the wonderful stories inside. Every day I'm searching, read through history and poetry. How much Jesus loves me. God's great story lives. There's no other book like this. This book. 
is alive. Chong. Have you heard the story of how God so loved the world that He gave to all of us His only Son? Jesus grew into a man. He healed the sick. He loved the lonely. He gave God's love away to everyone. Jesus gave it all. The people followed him. They'd never seen that kind of love. He loved them all, no matter what they've done. But not everyone was happy. Some of them were jealous. They made plans to kill God's only son. Jesus gave it all. And one night while he was praying, some soldiers came to find him. They took him to their roof, who didn't know just what to do. They asked the people gathered just what they should do with him. The crowds crucify him, though he did nothing wrong. Jesus gave it all And the soldiers tried to break him The crowds, they mocked and scorned They led him up a hill called Calvary And they nailed him to a cross Till he asked God to forgive them They didn't understand That it was all for you and me Jesus gave it Then he took his final breath And the sky grew black as midnight And the earth began to shake And the crowd began to tremble They shook their heads in wonder And the soldiers said, I know that this man was the son of God Jesus gave it all And they took him off the cross They placed him in a tomb they rolled a large round stone in the doorway of the cave Some soldiers they stood watching Making sure no one could enter Jesus' friends were sad and hopeless As they all went home that day Jesus gave it all On the morning of the third day His mother Mary came to see him To make his body ready for the grave where he would lay But the tomb, it was empty An angel came to tell her He's not here, he's risen See the stone's been rolled away Jesus gave it all Jesus gave it all Jesus gave This is what Easter's all about. God loved us so much that He sent His Son Jesus to earth as a baby. He grew up, lived a perfect life, and took the punishment we deserve by dying on the cross before He rose from the dead. When we choose to follow Jesus, we don't get what we deserve. We get something so much better. We get to be friends with God forever. Jesus makes me God's friend when I choose to follow Him. Jesus makes me God's friend when I choose to follow Him. That's right, Kat. He made you just the way you are, and God wants to be friends with you and spend time with you. And that sounds so nice. And Mike, Dot, the more time you follow Jesus, the more you become like Him. You learn to be better friends and support one another because you have the friendship and the support of God. I guess it would be nice not to fight so much. I guess I could stand to grow up a little. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. God has done so much for us, and I think it's important for us to think about that and if we want to take the step to become God's friend. There's no better choice you can make. So what do you think? I think it's amazing what the story of Easter and God's grace can do, and not just in a what-if simulation. It changes real-life people's lives every day. That's exactly right. <laughs> Thanks for helping me get back into the Easter spirit, Professor Malcolm. It was my pleasure. Now you're ready to head upstairs to that party? 
I have one more thing I'd like to do. Hi, I'm Harper, and I'm part of Connect HQ. I have a verse I'd like to share with you. Say it with me like this. Romans 10, 9. Say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Then you will be saved. We can't save ourselves from the wrong things we've done. But if we believe that God raised Jesus from the dead and follow Jesus with our whole lives, he'll rescue us and be friends with us forever. All of us deserve punishment for the wrong things we've done. But God's perfect son, Jesus, loved us so much, he chose to take the punishment we deserve. He died for our sins on a cross. And three days later, God raised him from the dead. That's what God's grace is all about. God forgiving us and making us pure and clean and friends with him forever. And that friendship changes us for the better. When we're friends with God, he loves us and supports us and makes us more like Jesus. Easter is a time to celebrate because of everything Jesus did for us and because we're able to be God's friend. If you ever find yourself not quite in the Easter spirit like I was earlier, remember this. Jesus makes me God's friend when I choose to follow him. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. You should get some of the snacks, Harper. They really are delightful. <laughs> How are you doing now, Harper? Much better. Professor Malcolm helped me work through a few things. I'm glad to hear it. All right, who's ready for our next Easter game? You ready? Let's do it. I had no idea there were so many Easter games. I'm pretty good at the egg hunt, but the egg toss usually doesn't work out for me. Towards the end, I'm pretty sure Mike was just making up games as he went, because there's no way egg, egg, peg leg is a real game. Jesus took the punishment for your sins by dying on the cross because he wants to be forever friends with you. If you want to make the choice to be friends with him today, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. That is the most important decision that you will ever make. Be sure to talk to a trusted adult to learn more about it. All right, let's do our verse together. Here we go, Romans 10, nine. Say with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. Then you will be saved. Fantastic job, you nailed it, okay. We have a great Easter challenge for you today. And it's called, hit the target. All right, here's what you need. You will need a penny or a coin. Any coin will do, but I have a penny. And you need a paper ball, okay? Here's how it works. You're gonna take your penny. You're gonna put it on the floor really, 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 really far away from wherever it is that you're standing, okay? Then you're gonna take your paper ball. You can have one paper ball. Everyone can have their own paper ball, however you wanna do it. And you're gonna throw your paper ball at your penny. Here's the trick. If your paper ball lands on your penny and stays on your penny, then everybody gets to fist bump you. Hooray, congratulations, you nailed it. Woo, 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 woo. You can shout, you can party, it's a great time, okay? If your paper ball does not land on your penny, maybe it hits it and it rolls off, that doesn't count. If your paper ball does not stay on your penny, then you don't get anything. I'm sorry. That's the game. You guys got it? All right, now we're gonna pause the video and you get to do it on your own. Here we go. We're gonna pause it in three, two, one, go. Woo! <laughs> That challenge was near impossible, but it's like God's grace. When we ask Jesus to be our leader and number one friend, he says yes, even though we don't deserve it. So let's be like Jesus right now. 
ask each other for some fist bumps. Go ahead and fist bump everyone who asks, even if they didn't win the challenge. Right now, you guys do it, go. Can I have a fist bump, please? Boom. Can I have a fist bump? Boom. Hey, can I have another fist bump? Boom. Could I have one more fist bump, please? Boom. <laughs> now that we've done our fist bumps, we have some fantastic questions that I want you and your family to answer. Thank you so much for joining me in Connect today. I will see you later.